Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pasnoti Suman, Consultant Pediatrician. In this video, I will be discussing about the Hepatitis B vaccine and the types of vaccines available and the disease symptoms. Before going into the details of this vaccination, I will discuss a few important information regarding this hepatitis. The word hepatitis means inflammation of the liver, it is nothing but increase in the size of the liver which is caused by 5 main hepatitis virus A, B, C, D, E. Presently, vaccination is available for all the 4 types of vaccines except hepatitis C. Coming to the virus spread, hepatitis A and E will spread by lack of food hygiene, contaminated water and substandard sanitary facilities. Coming to hepatitis B, C and D, these are spread by blood, sperm and other bodily fluids. Coming to the severity of the disease, the estimated cases worldwide per year are 400 million cases and an estimated 1.4 million people die worldwide from hepatitis every year. People who get infected can have no symptoms or they can have a mild illness that feels like flu. Some can be sicker with fever, nausea, vomiting and jaundice that last for a few weeks. This condition is called as acute hepatitis and others can become lifelong carriers of the virus and get liver problems later such as cirrhosis or liver cancer. Coming to India, statistics show 1.6-4% of the whole population carry this virus in their blood. Now we will see how does this hepatitis B spread. This virus has many ways of spreading from one to other, from infected family members or close contacts by sharing of articles like toothbrushes and razors and by sexual spread from an infected partner. This can also spread from the infected mother to the newborn baby. This is called vertical transmission and is eminently preventable with timely vaccination beginning in the newborn period. This vaccine will prevent your child from potentially serious form of this disease and also from liver disease and cancer. Not only your child but it also protects other people from the getting disease because children with hepatitis B usually don't have symptoms but they may pass the disease to the others without anyone knowing they were infected. Now we'll see the schedule of this hepatitis B vaccine. This vaccine is given as a series of 4 doses. The first dose is administered within 24 hours of birth. The next doses are administered at 6 weeks, 10 weeks and 14 weeks. These subsequent doses are given as a part of combined vaccine called Pentavac. This is given free of cost in government hospitals. There is no need for booster doses of this vaccine as the initial 3 to 4 doses will give almost lifelong protection. Now we will see about this vaccination in private hospitals and clinics. Presently, two types of combination vaccines are available. First one is Infanteric Sexa, the second one is Exaxim. These vaccines contain combination of DPT, Haemophilus Influenza B vaccine, Hepatitis B vaccine and the injectable polio vaccine. Now, we will see the schedule for the babies who are born to Hepatitis B infected mothers. Along with the Hepatitis B vaccine, these newborns should receive a special injection known as Hepatitis B immunoglobulin as soon as possible after the birth. The cost of these immunoglobulins is around 6000 rupees and this schedule is 95% effective in preventing the transmission of the virus to the newborn baby. Coming to the safety of this vaccine, it is a very safe vaccine except for the some reactions at the site of vaccination and a low gear fever. Now we will see who should not receive this vaccine. Children who had a severe allergic reaction like anaphylaxis after a previous vaccine dose or have any known severe life threatening allergies to any vaccine component. This is all about the hepatitis B vaccination and thanks for watching. If you have any further queries, please do ask us in the comment section.